What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is yet another pretty cool a little unboxing, unwrapping, whatever you want to call it. So I've I pre-cut it to save time, but here's what's inside it and yeah, so let's open this thing up, show you what it looks like. It's a mini suit Bluetooth keyboard. Now, I know I've done several videos on Bluetooth keyboards in the past, but honestly, this one stands out because a lot of them are little micro ones that are like the size of your Nexus 7 and you can fold it up and, you know, use it as a stand or whatever for your Nexus 7. I have really long fingers and I got into a fight with my razor blade and it cut my finger like four different ways. I was, you know, flying through boxes trying to find my HTC One and it happened to be at the bottom and yeah, it bit me really good, so that's why I have a band-aid. Anyways, um, I have really long fingers, so typing on a little tiny keyboard is really, really hard for me. I, I can't peg type. My wife does that, and I don't know how she does it. She goes, key, 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 key. I've been using computers since dial-up back, like, oh, God, I was 15, 16 when we got our first computer, and I've always just typed like this. I can type crazy fast, and with a tiny little keyboard, it slows me down. So, no more talking, let's cut this open. All right, I think I've made some progress. Uh, this little guy right here just lifts up like that. Okay, so here we go. Man, that was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever unboxed or uh, opened up. So in here we have our keyboard. We are granted with a micro USB cable, very nice. I have hundreds of these on everywhere, in my car, my truck, the basement, the first floor, second floor, you pretty much everywhere I have these things. And this is a nice, looks like a three footer cable, so. And it's awesome because you don't have to actually use it. And what's really cool is it looks like they've included the instructions on the back of the actual unit itself. So it looks like step one, place your device on the keyboard case. Turn keyboard on by swiping the on off button to the on position. The built in battery will support 120 hours of continuous work time once it's fully charged. Press the Bluetooth button to send Bluetooth signal to your device. Bluetooth light will blink. Turn your device's Bluetooth function on. Four digit code will come on. Please enter that password on the keyboard and press enter. So then it has a little legend of what all the keys do. And so let's open this thing up. Well, that's cool. It's like a, it's, this is neat. It's looks, it feels nice and open it up. It's got a, wow, that is too cool. You've got this. And it's magnetic, so it just kind of closes and it holds there, so it's not gonna just fly open on you. That is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice full size keyboard, so someone like me that types like, I haven't measured it in a long time, but it's probably around 50 to 60, maybe higher words per minute. Like Josh and the dog were going to the mall. And I, I mean, I make mistakes, obviously. And I really like a big backspace button. So that's nice. I hate it when they have a small, tiny one. Um, this is freaking, this is awesome. So you've got little things here for docking in like a keyboard or anything like that. This doesn't appear to come out, but that's fine. You could always just do this little number right here. And there you have it. So I, I do have a Nexus 7 or 2 or 3. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go to my Bluetooth settings here. And how you'll do this on most devices is you'll drag both fingers down. You'll click on Bluetooth and you'll turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and just set my phone in here. Well, I'll just hold it up for now. All right, so then we'll turn the keyboard on right here. It's lighting up, but it's no different things. It looks like the, well, the battery light went away. So we'll hold down this little sync button. The light's flashing. And on here, we'll press search for devices. And there's a keyboard right there. We'll just press pair. It's going to ask me to type in four 
two, four, seven, zero, one, and then press enter. The light stopped flashing, and now it says it's connected. So now we can go to like Plume, for example, example, which is my Twitter, if you want to follow me. Um, I can go back, and then I can go to press new tweet, and I can go um, for the input method. Uh, SwiftKey is going to pop up and ask me to like do stuff, but uh, physical keyboard detected, um, layout. All right, so I can just go on here, and I'll set the phone down, so hopefully you can, yeah, you can still see that. So I'll, and I'm typing at an angle. My body's not behind the camera, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it. So we'll try this. Josh and the, dang it. It's a stretch for that backspace button, but it works. Josh and the dog were going to the mall and we saw a cute little <laughs> pig. Dang it. Piggy that had a had a pink skirt. Anyways, I could definitely, definitely see myself using this keyboard on my PlayStation 4, my PlayStation 3, my NVIDIA Shield, which when you use the built-in keyboard on this thing, like, well, I'll show you that real quick. Let's go to, we'll go to YouTube here and see. The keyboard takes up like the entire thing. So while on with the Bluetooth keyboard synced up to it, it won't take up the entire screen to have a physical on-screen, you know, keyboard there. So I'll even use this little sucker on my NVIDIA Shield. Heck yeah. <laughs> and then you should be able to do like this. Yeah, that highlights all of it. And we can go ahead and cut it. And now there's nothing there. And it says the clipping, uh, I have Clipper Plus. It's an awesome, awesome Thing. It's like Ditto for Windows. It's freaking amazing. Uh, Google Ditto Clipboard Manager. You you will once you have it, your life will never be complete without it. But uh, then we can hit Control V and it pastes everything we just did. So like, I'll highlight this right here. And instead of going up here and typing stuff, we can do Control X, Control A, and then Delete and then Control V. That's just too stinking cool. It looks like you have buttons up here for like a keyboard mode, a search mode. So it looks like you don't use the, you actually have to press F in and to get to the like numbers up here, like you have to press this and then 12 or 10 to get to F10. So we'll just press search and it, it'll bring up search normally. So let's go to the home screen and press search. Nothing happens. So we'll hit play. And my little Bluetooth speakers here are playing some Eminem. So uh, I can hit skip track. And it's skipping the track. I can go ahead and pause the music. Turn the volume up and down. Don't know what the keyboard button does just yet. This is your brightness up and down. Anyways, uh, what if we... Tr let's try Alt-Tab. Oh, neat. So you can actually... Use Alt-Tab and flip through your stuff on Android. So we'll launch Instagram by letting go of Option or Alt. And there we go. There's my Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, links will be in the description as always. I should also mention that the charging port's actually on the... If you're looking at the keyboard like this, uh, where you got your... You know, it's the standard where you normally have it. It's on the right side right there, I know it's out of focus, it's hard to see, but there's a little micro USB charging port. You would just plug in your little USB cable right here to any little one amp charger that you would have for like your Nexus 5 or your HTC One or any phone like that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll have links to this in the description below as well as links to my Twitter, Instagram, Google+, my gaming channel where I post gaming videos like commentaries and etc. My second channel where I post videos from an Nexus 5. Just, you know, links to everything will be in the description below. Please click where it says show more to expand the description to see all the links. This is what Josh do and I'm out.